Also, uh, we do have Mr. Jim in the chat, uh, in the voice chat with us right now. And he was saying or questioning, what's the big deal with this whole non-aggression principle stuff? It has nothing to do with the problems that we face right now. And Jim, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that would be a good spot to uh, kick you guys off in a conversation. So welcome, Jim. Hey, Come Jim. On. Welcome to the, sh the stream show, show stream. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Welcome yeah. to when I like put myself out there in every way possible. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've been following you for a while. I, I like your stuff, but recently, uh, you know, I've, I follow a lot of different people in the so-called freedom movement. Yeah. Uh, I've talked to a lot of heavy hitters and I've asked a lot of questions and, uh, you know, I, I don't think we should be getting bogged down in the non-aggressive thing because we know we're non non-aggressive, right? And we just have to figure out why are they being aggressive? Why are we having to pay tickets and go to court and have all this problem? You know, somebody drives by and, and leaves a note on your house saying that you have to mow your lawn or you pay a fine and all this kind of stuff. What is the underlying thing that is bringing this action upon ourselves? Okay. And what we found out, uh, quite a number of us, is that it's us. We're doing this to ourselves by making claims to things that are not ours. You see, what? let me ask you, what life would be like if you could own nothing? If you could have no property or no rights to property, what would you say? Well, I, I, property ownership is the right to exclude others from the use of something. So if uh, if I if no right to exclude anyone from the use of anything exists, then life would become uh, the world would become okay. a very dangerous place. Let me run a scenario by you. If you want to own the property. OK, let's say I come over to your house for barbecue. Um, I pull up in your driveway halfway up the driveway. I trip over some of your shoddy landscape and then break my leg now because you're the owner of said driveway and shoddy landscaping and you did that yourself now you are liable if you don't have any insurance let's pretend you don't come out of pocket pay all my medical bills maybe i sue you for extra damages because your plants are just frightening and your decorations give me nightmares who, who says i'm liable because you own it, you well, accept the liability. You have how, to, does, how does that make me liable for you coming on my property and injuring yourself? Well, if I was invited to your barbecue, I would be there as a guest, right? And if it was dangerous conditions you made me navigate through, uh, you could well be liable in court for the damages that you that have, you know, accidentally happened. Says who? says the courts they've already ruled that like you can't set booby traps to stop burglars you know are, if a guy falls are we in a roof, are we in a free society or are you talking about current times i'm talking about today oh okay you well see? i don't consent to the current court system so i'm not sure i don't think that applies to okay well that's wonderful but it doesn't exclude the fact that you claim to own the thing and you're liable for the damage that it caused isn't that true i caused the damages your property did. My property has the ability to act in the world and cause damages. Look, it's the same thing. Like, okay, now let's do the same scenario where you're only using the property and you make no claims to ownership. Imagine like, say there's a trust or an LLC or something. Mm -hmm. If you do, if you do it all right, like asset protection, if I try to sue you personally, and the entity, your LLC, owns the home, and you own nothing, I can never take anything from you, can I? It's beyond my reach. I'd have right. to create some kind of a joinder between you and the... I'd have to pierce the corporate veil, so to speak. You're talking about in the current legal system. Yeah. Correct. That is asset true. Asset protection. Yep. It's called asset protection. Rich people do it all the time. They yep. say, if you're smart, nothing. if you're If you're smart in business, you would do that, yeah. Okay, well, let's say we are smart in business, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say the thing that you 
whatever your name is. I don't know your real name. I know you ran for governor, and I thought that was pretty admirable. Patrick. But let's say, Patrick. Yeah. Let's say the name that you're using is actually my LLC that I created the day you were born, and I gave it your name, but I own it. Now, you go around saying, I am Patrick. And then you complain that I'm treating you as my property and giving you the liabilities. It's like, say, if Walmart ran up a bunch of debt and the president of Walmart ran into the room where all the creditors and says, I am Walmart. He just made himself personally liable for all the debts of Walmart, didn't he not? It, it seems like you're talking about the current legal system. Correct. Which, which has a long list of problems and is not something I consent to. No, no, it only has one problem. Okay. We are making claims. We are what? We're making claims. What do you mean? The prosecutor's not making any claims. He's putting up hearsay to get you in there and to, to say the tooth fairy is real, and then you accept all the liability. You see? There's no difference between the state and the tooth fairy. The only difference is what you believe in your mind, right? Do you believe a state exists? A uh, state's a concept. It does not exist. It doesn't have any agency or ability to act in the world. Okay. Well, it's like, okay, Mickey Mouse was following me around Disney World, kicking me in the shins. And I said, hey, guy, stop kicking me in the shins. He says, I'm not kicking you in the shins. Mickey Mouse is kicking you in the shins. You see, this is what's happening to us. No, it's the, it's not Mickey Mouse kicking you in the shins. It's the guy inside the Mickey Mouse suit kicking you in the shins. Exactly. Just like it's the guy inside the government kicking you in the shins. Exactly. Not the government itself. So when itself. it says, when, when a state of Texas v. Patrick, and you say, I'm here to meet the claimant, I believe there's a controversy with the name that I use, who's making the claim? The prosecutor will stand oh. up and say, well, I'm, I'm making the claim on behalf of the state. Well, is that hearsay or is that firsthand knowledge? I've never met you before. Yeah, when these was are the all, last time you talked to the state? These are all the magic spells that the that the states and lawyers and judges and politicians use to try and control people. I mean, they, they cast their right. magic spells. Uh, you know, we defensively attempt to cast magic spells using their magical system. And, you know, I don't consent no. to any of it. None of it morally or rightfully applies no, no, no. to me. No, no, so, no. Uh, See? When when you claim to be the sound that they call, now you have to prove it. If you only use that, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, sir? I don't understand where we're going. Look, like back Patrick, up, back up, and fill me in. What's happening ask, here? How can you be the name? What are you talking about? Like a, a, na a name Patrick? is a a, me, a couple sounds that uh, you know people call me exactly. when they want my attention. Right. Mm -hmm. Now. How many Patricks do you think there are? Do you think you own Patrick? Why does that matter? You can't own a name. Because name is name is intellectual this, property is not a valid form of property. This is the very root of our problem. We don't own these names. You see, I was very. They're young not property. When I was born. It's not that we don't own them. It's that they're not valid forms of property. They're well, they're unownable. They if it's an LLC, it absolutely is. An LLC stands for Limited Liability Corporation, which is part of the magic spells cast by government that I don't consent to and they don't apply to me. Okay, are you familiar with the Lieber Code? Are you familiar with Article 38? Sounds like a magic spell. I, am not, I don't have that one memorized. <laughs> I can see. You have a lot of debts and all this shit piling up on you. I already know by the way you're the way you're acting, you're assuming liability for all the crap that they're putting on you. You're taking hearsay and you're testifying to it. It's being used against you. Look, I know guys who are driving around in cars that they don't even pay for because they're waiting for one day the claimant's going to show up and they'll make the payment. Until then, all this fantasy stuff about fictions and all this crap they don't exist and you're you you're almost there you're almost there but you don't want to let go of the liability you're almost there you believe in all the magical stuff right you're you're telling me it doesn't exist right none of the magical stuff exists but then when it comes down to you taking the responsibility you're jumping up and saying oh that that's mine i'm here for that i'll pay right what am I jumping up and taking ownership of? When I scream, when I yell Patrick, 
you you show up to a suit to act as surety for Patrick. I show up to They're, act as surety. When you yell yeah. Patrick, I say, "Welcome to the show." What do you want to talk about? Because that's no, my name. I, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's say when the judge calls Patrick, you go to step in as surety every oh. single time. When a judge calls Patrick, I show up because they point guns at me if I don't. I'm under threat. Because you made the claim. I am under threat. Because you claim to be Patrick. I, they pointed guns at me. Could it they be could, they could call me Shirley if they wanted. Patrick. If they pointed guns at me, I'd listen, show up. <laughs> listen, Article 38. Article 38 is, is the labor code, and we're, we're absolutely under martial law. We have been since 1828. I'm not part of that we. I don't consent to any of it. Who's the we? Well, it doesn't matter. Because there's guys with guns, like you said. The guys with guns point their guns, that, and then you are under duress and all this kind of stuff. Read Article 38. Property may be taken uh, to support United States and the Army and all that stuff. And if the owner has not fled, he'll be given an indemnity receipt. He'll be given a receipt. Whatever you Article 38 own- is, and I just Googled it, it's the Statute of International Court of Justice. I didn't consent to that. That means it doesn't have no. any effect on me rightfully, morally. No, listen. It, it, the, no, listen. If, if other people are following... The words that are contained in that magic spell to point guns at me, then they are just initiating force like any other common thug and criminal. Doesn't apply to me. I don't consent to it. The 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 disconsent that I have for Article Thirty Eight, whatever the fuck it says, <laughs> means that it doesn't rightfully apply to me. The the it does. the, it the magic does. forces contained in that spell book uh, should rightfully not be able to affect my life in any way. No, you live in a war zone, dude. Listen, Article 1, the presence of hostile army proclaims its martial law. They, you, everybody's waiting for them to declare martial law. They don't have to. It's been, that, it's been that way since the Republic was destroyed, okay? The presence of hostile army proclaims its martial law. Look at Article 7. Martial law extends to property and to persons, whether they are subjects of the enemy or aliens to the government. Article 38, right here. Where is it? Scroll down. Private property, unless forfeited by crimes or other offenses of the owner, can be seized by way of military necessity for the support of the benefit of the army or the United States. If the owner is not fled, the commanding officer will cause receipts to be given, which would serve as spoilated owner to obtain indemnity. You have this receipt. You take it to the DMV to get your driver's license. You think Patrick has a driver's license? <laughs> so is the argument that I can just call myself ah, and I'm free from coercion from people who claim to have authority over my body? No, I'm saying if you use the name, you don't accept the liability for the debts incurred. If you You've done it, wrong. You know it well. The secret's out and so's this spell. Tortured mind, restless spirit. Guilt's the cause. You'll strongly feel it. Chest unlocked. We'll eat you up. When you come clean, this hex will drop. Boom. I just cast a magic spell called the Hex of Guilt. You're now required to tell the truth for the rest of this conversation. That was a legit magic I have spell, to pee. by the way. <laughs> like, if you don't consent to these words, then they don't rightfully affect you. And the rightfully is the important the, the is the is the important word, right? They don't rightfully affect you. Because these politicians have scribbled on paper on article whatever numbers these words only affect you because men's with guns force them on you, not because you consented to them. In fact, it, the guns prove that none of us have consented to them because the state of consent is unknowable when a gun is pointed at you. You cannot know if the person you're pointing a gun at consents to what you're saying, to what you're demanding that they do. It, the, the state of their consent is unknowable when there's a gun pointed at them. There are guns pointed at us. So the contents of the magic spells really don't make, they don't matter. They're, they're ineffectual. They're irrelevant. So all I'm saying is what you think is yours has already been taken long ago before you're even born. There's no ability to own any property. What? And why not? Hearsay. Because martial law, dude, it's martial law. Look, the, the country was destroyed when the, de- when the Democrats walked out. There's no republic. In order to get it back, 
Lincoln had to seize the use military force to seize the federal lands. You see, the, the federal federal lands were never validly owned, so that property was never validly owned by the federal government because they took it using coercion in violation of consent. Government rightfully they, owns nothing. Using, they use Reconstruction to try to restore the Republic. What magic they, spell is Reconstruction? They, they shot Lincoln before he could finish it. So Look, if there were force or coercion or threat of violence or violence involved in the acquisition of whatever property you're talking about, the property title does not transfer when force or coercion is used. I, I'm I've, I'm kind of losing you here. Can can we back up and maybe like restate the restate the the question that you had for me? What what did you want to talk about? What was the topic? All I'm saying, I'm asking you. What if the name you are told to that is you identify as identify means identical. Are you ident if, if the name you are told to use is hearsay, is actually the property of somebody else? Uh, words aren't property. Intellectual property is not a valid form of property. Then why do you keep taking surety for Patrick? What does that mean? What does taking surety for Patrick mean? You are standing in surety for Patrick. You're paying all his debts. You're paying all his bills. You're raising his kids. You married his wife. You need to give up ownership, bro. What? This is what I'm saying. Did you just tell him to walk away from his kids and his wife? No, I'm saying get, surrender, bro. I'm saying give it up. And all your problems surrender are going to go away. away. Oh my God. Dude, look. Because I don't, you, I don't are, understand what you, you're asking me to do. Surrender what? The ownership, bro. Stop pretending like you own something and nobody will bother you ever again. There will be no violence. There will be no guns. You'll be protected. By who? It, it all goes away. By everyone that you hate, bro. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm trying. You hate, I, the, you I hate cops. Understand. You hate politicians. You, you hate the state. You have all this grudge. You, you're, you're, you're a bitter man, bro. You've been beat up. We all have. You've been beat down. I don't, don't like know people that violate my consent. Nobody asked for your consent, dude. Exactly. That's the problem. They, that they, is the problem. <laughs> right. Exactly. But see, they led you into this path to say, here, you can use this. And then you missed it, misidentified yourself as being the thing. If I said, I own a red wagon and you come up and you say, I am red wagon. And I say, okay, let's paint you yellow. And you say, why are you painting me? I don't consent. What are you talking about? You just identified yourself as my property. Now you can't, you have no complaints that I'm treating you as such. I have not identified as anyone's property. I am not a slave. But you have. I own myself. It's it's right, it's right up there in the little spinny block in the top left of the video. You own yourself. I own myself. I lead myself. No one else leads me. Rightfully. Now people point see, guns at me and threaten me to get me to do things. No, no. Listen. All you have to do is find the claimant. Okay. The first. You're my claimant. No, I'm not your claimant. I don't make any claims. At least I try not to. Okay, listen. You just made a claim that you don't make claims. Performative contradiction, Your Honor. He's using he's using yeah. uh, magic spell words. He's using words in ways that aren't normal, and I don't I I don't understand no, the language. Look at what, but because I I don't need to understand the language because I don't consent to however you're using it, and my consent stands in violet. It stands. In, in opposition to any magic spell system that anyone tries to oppose on me without my consent. Uh, yeah, against you my try will. that. You, you're you're going to end up in jail. You start saying That's shit like that. That's the point. They're violating my consent. They're pointing guns no, at me not. to get me to behave how they want. No, it's That's not. the beginning and end of it. About, no, no. Listen. Listen. Look at the entomology of claimant. One who demands anything as a right. Okay? Now, the claimant has the burden of proof. <laughs> I love the chat right ready, now. Patrick? 
My mother has, like, maybe for the first time in the history of this entire channel, made an appearance in the live stream chat. <laughs> hi, Mom! It's great to have you. I hope you're entertained. Everyone say hi to my mother, Cynthia Smith. <clears throat> yeah, so hi, I, if, um, I, I don't know where we're going. So let's either get it back on track or let's move on. Let's let's go. Uh, do, do you want to have? Okay, uh, I'll, so, I'll give you the I'll give you the final word if you want to kind of make a a final conclusion, and then maybe if we want to talk about this offline in the future, we can maybe set well, up a show I'll to actually discuss you, it separately. I'll invite you to the call on Thursday. You can talk to Batman about it, and he'll you muted your, your mic off. there, bud. My mic? No, I can hear him. Oh, What's sorry, that? I muted him. I can hear him. Yeah, go ahead. Say that again. I'll invite all y'all to Batman's show uh, on the Thursday, and you can come and talk to Batman. And, you know, he ain't going to challenge any of your beliefs or anything. Is he the claimant but, uh, I need or the claimant I deserve? It was a joke, man. It was a joke. You're going to invite me to, like, a Discord chat or something? It was a joke. I'm joking. Keeping it light. No, that's all right. It's all cool. Right. No, let's well, let's go back to your consent thing. Let's see. Did your mom consent when she signed the birth certificate? You know, people are being held prisoner until they do sign. If you refuse to sign the birth certificate, they tell you you can't have the you can't leave. Well, that would be wrong. If that were true, that's wrong. Imprisoning that's, people is wrong. This is some of the stories that are, that we're talking about. And and if if you don't sign, you can't leave with your child and that kind of stuff. And then people were threatening to sue the hospital for uh, false imprisonment and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I, I want to give you the final word, and then we can pick this back up later offline. We've we've spent a lot of time on this topic. So if you want to if you want to kind of close it out with something, go ahead, and then let's uh, let's maybe move on. All right, I'll just say this: uh, give unto Caesar. Okay. Well, Caesar doesn't own anything, so I don't have to give him shit. Thanks for hanging out, and we will catch up offline. What do we have any? Uh, do we have anybody else up next? Who's up next? My mother is participating in live chat, guys. So if you've done nothing else, sir, you have brought my mother out <coughs> to participate in the comments. So I'm I'm excited about that. Uh, who who else do we have? Any any more questions? I wasn't watching chat during all that. I was kind of trying to focus. So I can give you the gist of the chat okay. for the past little bit. What? That's basically what's been going on in the chat. What is this guy talking about? Look at the look at the screen, Patrick. This is the general vibe. Yeah. Uh, so I've had I've really honestly I've tried to honestly and politely engage with several people that speak like him in the past, and um, and I'm and I'm gonna try again, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying until I either I, I gotta at least understand what the hell they're saying. But um, they they seem to be convinced that by some action, be it getting a driver's license or having a birth certificate signed or getting a social security card or something, that I have somehow consented voluntarily to all of the transgressions of the government. But look, if I don't get a driver's license, then then the uh, law enforcers will point guns at me and throw me in a cage if I try and drive around. Uh, so that's called a threat of force, which means that, you know, if I, if, if they're going to point guns at me, then you, then like it, if force is involved, the contract isn't valid. So like, if you point a gun at me and tell me to sign on the dotted line and I sign on the dotted line, that contract is not rightfully binding to me. So it, guns are pointed at me. If I get a driver's license, the contract is not valid. I'm doing it defensively. I'm doing it to defend myself against the state's guns. So that that's kind of the beginning and end of most of the arguments and discussions that I have with uh, people that talk in the language that that guy talked in. <laughs> What's interesting is you were trying really hard to be patient and to understand what he was saying. But I don't know if there was enough self-knowledge on the other end of the line to be able to figure out, hey, I need to change my tactic here. Because I think it was something to the effect of, what is a claimant? Well, a claimant is one who claims, like, uh, or a, there was another thing where it was like, you're representing yourself or something to that effect. And it was, 
I've I've involved you know I've I've spoken with people who have taken certain substances that are mind altering and they're talking about extra dimensions and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to say it doesn't exist. Can you give me any kind of evidence? Well, man, you just got to do it. You got to try it and then you'll know, then you'll be enlightened. And it, it was very reminiscent of that. That was quite a bizarre little moment. Yeah. And the only other thing that I, I like trying to point out uh, to make the point, um, because they talk about the state and its property and what it owns and, you know, it owns your you know, straw man or whatever, you know, it owns all the property and you don't own anything. And there is no ownership. Like this guy was saying is that I like to point out that, um, like, and we did this in a, we have a video called, uh, why is property? And we also, it was called Jordan's story. And we also did another video called, um, Oh, what was the follow up video? I forgot the name of it. Anyway, we'll figure it out. The three ways about, uh, property. Yeah. So the, Property title, ownership, property ownership does not transfer when force or coercion is involved. When threat or force is involved, if somebody is under threat, the rightful ownership of a piece of property does not transfer. This has wide ranging implications it, because literally every piece of property the government has in its possession was acquired either by force or fraud. Threat, threat of force, force or fraud. It was either captured by, you know, Armed forces, it was either purchased with stolen resources, i.e. tax money. Um, every stitch of anything that it thinks it, it possesses, uh, it does not have valid claim of ownership to. And I keep looking for exceptions to that rule, and I really haven't seen any yet. 